when working with consumers prices are usually expressed with taxes included in the product price that is uh, mostly in the case of e-commerce shop uh, the taxes are included in the product price but when you work in a business to business environment companies usually negotiate prices with taxes excluded so in odo uh, we can manage both the cases easily as long as you register your prices on the product with taxes excluded or included but not both together like you can manage all the prices with tax included or all the prices with tax excluded and depending on how you register your prices on the product form you will have different results for the price including taxes and the price excluding taxes so in this video let's see how we can handle the very specific use case where you need to handle two prices like tax excluded and tax included on the product form within the same company so here let's open our configuration like tax configuration you can find all the taxes created so you can get some pre configured taxes depending upon the fiscal localization package that you have installed so after installing the package you can set it for your accounting like here from odo apps the closing the apps filter you can search for your country name and you can get country specific fiscal localization package so you can see we have indian accounting accounting reports after that you can set country for your company so you can see i have set my country as india so you can see fiscal country is india and localization package can also be installed automatically like at the time of database creation that is you can specify the country then uh, these modules will be automatically installed and you will get some pre configured chart of accounts taxes journals currencies fiscal positions etc so here we can find our taxes like we have uh, different types of taxes so here you can find igst 2 percentage it's a sales tax and the tax is computed based on percentage of price so it's two percentage of product price and uh, here when you come under advance option you can see a check box to include the tax in the product price so invoice can be created by including the tax in the product price so let me create a new igst 2 percentage that includes the taxes in product price so we have to just enable this you can do this by uh, duplicating the igst 2 percentage also and you can provide a different tax name and include that in price so you change the tax group as igst and choose a country and so we have created uh, two taxes one igst 2 percentage with tax excluded and igst Two percentage with tax included in the product price. So you can either use IGST two percentage included for your product or IGST two percentage excluded for your product. So define which one is the default store on the product form. That is the default tax related to the product, and let the auto compute the other one automatically. based on price list and fiscal position 
so before configuring the uh, price list and fiscal position uh, let's first see how what is the difference between this tax included and tax excluded that is how the taxes are computed and shown on the order line so let's open a product and here we can find the option to add customer tax so i'm setting it as igst 2 percentage and inside this product form you can see what will be the total amount when you uh, add the customer tax so it will be uh, in this case it will be 1 a uh, 12.71 so now let's say this product form and create a sale order so here you can see this is a unit price suppose if i change this okay here we can see the unit price is 200 and the sub total is shown as 200 so the sub total is calculated by without including the tax that is igst 2 percentage and here here when you check below you can see the untaxed amount and along with this you can find the a uh, tax that is customer tax applied on this product that is on this order so it is igst 2 percentage which is 4 and you can find the total amount it's 204 by adding the tax so you can see the product price is computed by excluding the tax amount and the tax amount is shown separate now when i change this tax to igst 2 percentage tax included you can see here sub total is changed to 196.08 so here the unit price is computed by including this igst 2 percentage so this is how both the cases work so if you want to negotiate some prices with tax excluded and for some other customers uh like other prices with tax included then you can make use of fiscal positions or product price list so let's set a default tax for a company so the accounting can see default tax applied local transaction uh that is sales tax and purchase tax is gst 5 percentage now let me set it as igst Two percentage for a sales tax. So any newly created product will have a default tax IGST two percentage. So you can see when you create a new product, the customer tax uh, default tax is IGST two percentage tax excluded. Now once everything is done, you can create. uh business to customer price list so here you can see under products price list if it is not activated you can activate it from configuration settings and here we can create a business to customer so you are going to add a price rule now let's create another price list and name it as b2b and set the price
now here we can find all our customers and you can open a customer form and here under sales and purchase you can set a default price list for your customer so by default it is public price list usd you can choose it as b2c price list or b2b price list so when i set it as b2b prices so now let's open a product drawer and remove the default tags i used to percentage and now let's open a customer so here we have a customer registered customer and under sales and purchase tab you can find a field price list so here we can set a default price list for this customer so here we can choose a uh, price list b to b and save it now when you create a sale order by adding this customer and when you add the product drawer you can see the price computed is 245 so this price is computed by using uh, the defined price rule inside the price list b2b price list so this one was a default price list set for the customer registered customer and if you wish to change this to business to customer price list and if you update the price you can see unit price is updated to 250 now we can also define fiscal positions like we can create fiscal positions for customers so let's open accounting and here we can find fiscal positions and here we can add tax mapping and account mapping so here let me choose does igst 2 percentage sales and i want to map this uh, igst 2 percentage sales to igst 2 percentage sales by including the tax so if you set a default tax on your product igst 2 percentage sales this physical position should map IGST 2% sales, uh, that is with uh, tax excluded of price, to IGST 2% sales with tax included in price. So here on the sales and purchase tab, you can uh, set the fiscal position. Now let's open our product and set default taxes IGST to percentage. So when you choose a customer as your interior, you can see under other info, the fiscal position is India. And now when you add the product with default taxes, IGST 2%, you can see it is mapped to IGST 2% with tax included in price. So by... So by making use of this price list and uh, fiscal positions, we can avoid changing every sale order, like avoid changing the taxes every time. So you have to just set the price list and fiscal positions on the customer form so that it will be applied automatically at every sale of this customer. So while using fiscal positions and price list uh, for managing both tax included and tax excluded within the same company. There can be some issues like if you set fiscal positions, uh, position with tax included in price, but if you use a price list that is not included, then you might have some uh, wrong prices calculated for you. So you have to use it in the right way. 
so that's how we manage prices for business to business and business to customer and if you want to know more about how to configure taxes in o215 accounting you can check the link above we have done a video on that and if you require any o2 implementation or customization in your business you can drop a request to odwatsibrosis.com